the Dandenong Ranges are a beautiful place, a place I once called home. A lot's changed since then. I've come to visit a well-known restaurant that's literally opened up in my old backyard. The Piggery is a wonderland with loads to see and do, and Emma, the manager, is taking me through what's on offer. Here we've got to our left um, the truffery. We also have further afield the emus, great attraction for children to come and meet them. And do uh, you use the eggs in the kitchen? Of course we do. <laughs> we've also got geese and quail um, that we harvest their eggs as well for cooking. Uh, a little bit further down we've got our vegetable gardens and then our pigs. And then also we've got our lawn bowls and our uh, croquet court to the left and right of us here and bocce as well, so perfect for all the family. It's not just the grounds you come for, but of course, there's delicious food as well. Please, the best thing to do is get out there, play some lawn bowls while Joel and his team <laughs> rustle up some dishes for you. This takes me back, <laughs> having a meal cooked for me while I play in the backyard. Oh, yes! <laughs> while I'm working up a hunger, the piggery is creating divine dishes, like crispy bacon with creamy scrambled duck eggs. The chunky Wagyu beef burger with fat fries, oh mm, yum. And a mouth-watering crunchy chicken platter. And while I'm obviously winning in the croquet, you'll be winning with the croquettes, served alongside more delicious bite-sized treats. Finally, the dessert platter, which is a wonderland in itself, with macaroons, scones and cakes. It's the perfect way to finish the afternoon. See you, Jared. Hey, hey, Emma. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. This looks amazing. I have to say that you've made me feel just like being at home. The piggery really is a wonderland for adults and kids, and you can even bring your pooch, can't you? Exactly. <laughs> now you must tuck in. Oh, can't Please. wait. Thank you. <laughs> From one side of the Dandenong Ranges to the other, I've gone from a walk down memory lane to finding independence. Wow, check out this place. Welcome to the independent bar and restaurant. It's got to be the gem of Gembrook. And I can't wait to see what Mara's cooking up in that kitchen. Let's go check it out. I'm heading into Mauro's kitchen, where he's showing me the influences of his home country. And also Argentina, it's all about, you know, sharing the food and, you know, doing... Uh, it's all about family. And boy, do we have a family to feed. Tonight we'll be feasting in true Argentinian style. We have calamari with green chilli, cucumber and local feta. And speaking of local, Gembrook is known for its spuds, so we're serving roasted potatoes with garlic parsley and onion puree. Morthia, or black pudding, with tomato pesto and shallots. Beef ribs with chimchurri. A beetroot salad with smoked yoghurt. And for dessert, a tantalising chocolate trifle. It's a feast fit for the whole family. Here we go, guys. Dinner is served. <laughs> if you're visiting the Dandenong Ranges, I cannot recommend the independent bar and restaurant highly enough. And if you're really nice to the chef, he might even take you for a ride on his motorbike. <laughs>